What's up? Welcome to my week nine pick video. I'm going to give you my top studs, value picks, and stacks for week nine. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to give you my top uh, optimal lineups for both FanDuel and DraftKings. So first of all, my top stud today, that's going to be Justin Herbert. Let's talk a little bit about Justin Herbert. He's averaging uh, 26 FanDuel points per game and 27 DraftKings points per game. Uh, he's going up against the defense who give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. And he's the most reasonably priced out of all the top quarterbacks. Uh, he's just $6,800 on DraftKings and uh, $7,900 on FanDuel. And compare that to someone like Matt uh, Patrick Mahomes, who's $9,300. Uh, that's why I really like him going up against the Raiders, which should be a really competitive game. Now, my top value pick for FanDuel is going to be DJ Dallas. He's just $5,100 on FanDuel, and he's going to get the start against Buffalo. And uh, last week, he had a receiving and a rushing touchdown, but not a whole lot of yards. But he's going up against a below average uh, Buffalo defense, and we're projecting him to score 12.82 uh, fantasy points this week on FanDuel, which is good for that price point, but he can easily exceed that. Now, my top value pick for DraftKings is a pretty obvious one. It's going to be Justin Jackson going up against the Raiders. He's just $4,900 on DraftKings, and we're projecting him to score 17.31 fantasy points. Uh, he had 89 rushing yards and 53 receiving yards last week against Denver, and he's going up against a Raiders defense who give up the six most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Uh, I would even consider a Jackson Herbert stack because one of those Herbert touchdowns could easily go to Jackson, who's averaging four catches a game. Now it's time for my top stacks. Now, I know a whole lot of people are going to be stacking the Seahawks-Bills game, which isn't a bad idea. Uh, maybe a Russell Westbrook Lockett or a Russell Westbrook Metcalf stack with Cole Beasley, someone like Cole Beasley on the turnaround. Uh, that's something that you might want to consider. But the stack I really like this week is going to be Julio and Matt Ryan. Now, I know a whole lot of people are going to be on Julio. Um, but not a whole lot of people are going to be on Matt Ryan. He's only $6,400 on DraftKings, and he shouldn't be too heavily owned. Uh, we have him projected to be 8.68% owned on DraftKings, uh, and he's only $7,600 on FanDuel. And he's going up against a Broncos defense who give up the 10th most uh, fancy points to opposing quarterbacks and the Falcons somehow managed to have every game come down to the wire But anyways, let me give you my top lineup for DraftKings now as I promised you earlier So let's come over here to the draft time lineup optimizer, which you can access on DraftTime.com. You can sign up for a free seven-day trial and you could cancel any time before the seven days are done and you won't be charged But let's go ahead and hit generate lineups so for DraftKings, we got Justin Herbert, Justin Jackson, Dalvin Cook, Terry McLaurin, Tyler Locke, Julio Jones, Marcus Johnson, Hayden Hurst, and the Falcons defense. Now let me go ahead and run it for FanDuel. And for FanDuel, we got Justin Herbert, DJ Dallas, Chase Edmonds, James Robinson, Robbie Anderson, Allen Robinson, Julio Jones, Travis Kelsey, and the Falcons defense. Now, right now, it's 1124, so this could change. So make sure you sign up uh, for a free membership and update it before lock. And good luck to everyone.